Hey everybody, this is Mr. Cypherman, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we defeated Ozzy and his gang back in the 600 AD, and now we've come to 2300 AD with Robo to figure out the origin of his birthplace. So one quick thing, um, if you look over here, not that, not that, there we go, you'll see that Meryl has a Vigil Helm, and Ayla have a Vigil Helm. I gave them Ozzy's pants in the last episode. Funny, but it always puts them confused at the beginning of every battle. It's really annoying. I, in fact, went through half a playthrough through this area with those pants on my head and had to switch them out. So this time, we're going to do it nicely. And not have to switch people out halfway through. Welcome home, R66Y. Or should I say, Prometheus. You dare defile this place with humans? I haven't seen them in ages. Let me welcome them. Come closer. Why do I feel like sh this thing wants to test me? And there'll be cake at the end. Oh well. Anyway, hop on the conveyor belt to start off. You'll head down here, and you'll have to do a lot of fights. But... We have... Not that. Robo. We have Robo's shock move. Let's show this off, because we haven't yet. It's really cool. Wow. Very nice. So, a little information about this place. Um, I will be playing through this mostly blind. Um, we learned dual tech, cure touch, and super vault. Super vault's really helpful. But we don't need to use it for this. I it's really powerful, but yeah, using either Luminare or Shock will basically take care of all these enemies for you in one hit. Um so I am kinda of through playing through this part of the game blind, because the last time I did a playthrough of this area was the first time I went through the game. Uh, subsequent playthroughs I basically skipped it. Uh, for various reasons, but I feel that I need to do all of it to show you the uh, best possible ending that you can get. Well, not the best possible ending. We'll talk more about that later, but the ending where you've completed every side quest. I want to start with that because, well, it's the longest part of the game. Uh, it makes it let's play go out for a few more episodes, and it lets me complete all the side quests, which are fun for me to do. And I think you guys will enjoy it. And if you're trying to be a completionist, this will give you exactly what you need in here. So, uh, be patient a little bit, please, through this part, because I'm kind of doing it blind. I have a general idea of what I'm supposed to do. Just not a perfect memory of it. And this is the last part I have to do before hanging on. So, um, let's use Rubble, because we use a lot of man from front. So after we head through this part, um, we'll have uh, the conveyor belt in another room, and we will have three switches we must deal with if we want to continue onward to the inner part of the chamber. So this is the hard part, getting those three switches to work, because, well, if you just press them, nothing happens. Not bad, for humans, but can you find your way to me? Well, yeah, the first part anyway. Use a magic tab. How about Meryl? Just because, well, she needs it. Mid ether, mid ether, mid ether, mid ether. There we go. Raise up. And. We have these little charge stations, but nothing really happens to them right now. Uh, first thing you want to do is go over here and defeat these three debuggers. I'm just being lazy and using my best techniques because, well, I have them, and I have mid ethers, so I'm not too concerned. So these guys aren't too tough, but man, if you have Chrono and Robo's in moves, it gets super easy. Because they're both electric, and robots take a lot of damage from electricity. 300 years ago, the lava's disaster greatly changed the planet. At this rate, humans will die off from pure despair. Well, this is definitely someone who is not like humans. I can give you that much right now. Since we defeat those guys, we can go in here. Into an elevator that will take us up. Now to a save point. And I'm just getting here early. 
because we'll be coming back here for a while. If we walk on those little parts, we have these laser guards, which basically shoot little lasers and or exploit you, but if you're fast enough, you can defeat them without them doing either. Pretty simple. Easiest, easiest of the enemies around here. Let's see, Meryl gets her life to in 328, so I think we'll be able to get Meryl all set up by the end of this. And there's chests out there, but I can see there's going to be laser guards here. There's six of them, so let's use Max Cyclone. Aw, that's a little laser, you see. And they shoot in straight lines and they can't hurt their friends. So let's Max Cyclone to get all of them because, well, we haven't seen them in a long time. I love Max Cyclone. I love the move. It's so awesome. It does so much damage for the level you get at. It's just very situational, sadly. And if you hit it, and you'll kill it, it blows up. So there you go. Nothing hard, just annoying. Nice bit of XP, though. Up here, we have more of the lasers. And here, we'll just use Luminar to get all of them. And just like that, taken care of. That's why I like bringing Robo and Krill, because both of them have great electric attacks at this point in the game. As you can see, we have two elevators and a door that is shut. We go on the left. I if I can get Robo. That's on the elevator. Okay. Like I said, play through and get blind. That's one of the parts that we can't go to, but we can go down here. And get er, uh, 15,000 gold. Very nice. Back down here, we see a human on a conveyor belt. What is this? You have to do something. Ah! Let me stop. Let us stop the machine. It is too well guarded. We'll have to destroy the central computer. This machine is taking humans and doing terrible things to them. So to stop this, we've got to stop the main computer. We can't get to the main computer yet. So what do we do? Well, for one thing, I want to get in there, but I can't. I need to get in there. So, <clears throat> since we can't do anything, we're going to have to head back down. But if we go through this door to the north, don't you understand? This planet would be peaceful if there were no humans around. And yet you still want to fight. Why? Down here, we are attacked by two Pro Force and two Laser Guards. But really, one Luminar and now you're fine. Again, electricity is amazing to use against these guys. They will make your job real easy if you just use electricity the entire way through. Even Lightning 2, I think, does a really good job on these guys. I just like using the elevator to make sure. Hanging through here, we have another elevator. Which takes us back down. It also shows us a little secret room back there. For some reason, we're still running through the entire animation now. Good job, guys. Good job. Luminaire, because I got... ...Ethers. I love that move. So, after defeating them... ...we are going to head back up to that little secret room, which I completely missed. And see if there's anything important in there. Some chests we can get to, but not yet. But there is a switch! If I remember correctly, that switch turns off the laser we see down here. No. Okay. But both of the switches do. There we go. I can run across really fast. We have a charger here. And there's a door we can't get into. And... That's all we can go? Okay. But there's something back there. I guess I was incorrect. Over here, though. We have three pro fours, we need to get over there to that side of the machine. So we're gonna run back around. We're not gonna go in there yet. So I won't be in this door, so I'm sad. We're walking here. We need to fight these three pro fours because this 
opens up the entire area to what we need to see. First, before we do that, I want to show off your touch. Restore all of the allies' HP to full. That right there is our full heal. Very nice. So if you never want to die, just play Meryl and Robo in your group. They are amazing together. Let's see how light you works on these guys. Yeah, not as much damage, but oh well, that's what I thought. Luminar and Shock, what do you want to use if you just want to, you know, one-shot everything in here? I always like Robo's last move better than I did Kronos, it just looked cooler. Kronos ends up doing a little bit more damage in the end, but Robo just looks cool. So yeah, style points for Robo. We got Full Tonic, and here, this computer can give us data about the Genome Dome. What shall we examine first? The door. To open locked doors, simply change the energy pods beside them. Energize first in the pod to your left, then enter the pod next to a locked door. Anything else? Basically, this just lets us know how we can change the conveyor of the door. Without the conveyor to the right can be reversed with the switch above it. Anything else? Yes. And the guard machine. The robot guarding the figurine will block anyone that tries to pass, but if you place two guards in front of each other, they will short circuit. Turn the broken guard to the roof of stairs. And finally, the dolls. You must obtain the two figures on this floor to fight the mother brain. Do not leave with them. Anything else? No. So, we first open this up. And we charge. And then the robot has to run to another open door. And that will open it up for him. Inside, we have a full tonic. 50,000 gold. Very good. Now, let's just fight these two debuggers really fast because we're going to need to with it anyway. And I'm just going to attack them because I'm awesome. Just like that. Man, even Meryl's critting. We are awesome today, guys. Good job. We're not as awesome as Spin to Win Day, though. And I remember that because that we did that when we were in the future last time. Oh man, spin to win day. That was a good one. Maybe someday I'll do that again. Or I won't. By the way, this is the blocker. As you can see, can't get past him. So we need another one. So, in here. There's another door we need to charge through. There are those guard machines I'm destroying now so we can, you know, get past it. Lightning 2 should do it? I don't think they're even that powerful. I'm not exactly sure how much health I have, but I think that... Yeah, I might do it. Cool. Or that not might do it. <laughs> that will do it. Very good. Up here, we have these three switches, which basically switch out the doors to. And... That didn't tell me anything about the door, so I'm going to have to go reread that. But for now, get Robo Charge. Sprung over here. Get in. Get in. Why don't you open? In. Ah! Okay, maybe I have to press the button to... I won't do it. This one? No. This one. No. Just the right one. Right and the left. There we go. Some combination. So the far right and the far left button, if it press together, we'll open up that door. So we charge our left again, and then we drive back over. Get inside. To get the first doll. We need both of them now. There's the other guard robot over there. So we need to open the door behind this room. And the conveyor bolt's going the right way, so I'm going to try to get over there. So I charge up. Wait a long time. Wait for it. And sprint. And immediately my way. Okay, let's try this again. One, two, three, four, five. Sprint. Go, 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 go. Ah! How am I supposed to make that last that long? Let's 
Let's check this right now. Guard machine. The robot guarding the figure will block anyone that tries to pass. But if you place two guards in front of each other, they will short circuit. Turn the broken guard to the room upstairs. Uh, I'm gonna try to figure this thing out, guys. I will get back to you when I do. See you guys in a sec. All right, welcome back, everyone. I decided if you go into the, I discovered if you go into the charger down there for only a little tiny bit, you are charged long enough so you can run all the way up with this uh, conveyor belt. Go all the way up and get into here to unlock the door. Uh, this robot, though, right here, isn't really any good because he can't move fast enough to get down this conveyor belt right here. It's kind of hard to control too, as you can see. Doesn't really want to, you know, follow orders, which is not helping us. Come on, come on, there you go, there you go. Let's go. Come on, come on. To the right, to the right. Good. All right. So this is annoying. So I'll see you guys in just a sec when I get this figured out. All right, and I'm back. Sorry about that. That just took a while for him to get all the way over here to the other side. But if we put it like that, they will look at each other in short circuit. We'll get a vigil hat and the other little robot thing, or the other little weird thing. Basically, we will get the other stuffed animal, I guess. Not really sure what it is. Anyway, though, now we can go upstairs. That's not the room to do that in. Oh, wait, I totally forgot this room. Wow. In this room, you find an elixir and a lapis. And then you fight three pro fours. And it's too breezy. That's it. But, there was a lecture in that room and I forgot about that. So, that, I believe, is the last bit of treasure we can get here. Uh, we defeat these guys. And I think it's time we head up and get to the Mother Brain. I didn't know we were playing Metroid again. So, we go over here. Under the right. And up this way. And this is the elevator. Hooray! So we're now on the upper floor. And these run back this way because I don't really care. And these. Oh, that was something there I missed. Aha, good eye. Power tab, very good. So in the bottom right hand of that hallway, there is a power tab that is just sitting there that you totally want because power tabs are awesome. Because we give it, we don't give it the power metal, which I still have not figured out what that's for. Give the power down to Robo. I meant to get it to Chrono, but oh well, that works too. So, I think here is a good place to save because we have been heading through this uh, machine for a while now. And I think you guys are ready. Oh, I saw that too. Wow, there's so much free stuff in here. And I also totally forgot this was here. So. Next time on Crown Trigger, we will be figuring out who this robot with the bow is, and how she, I'm guessing it's a she because it has a bow and it's pink, how she knows Robo or Prometheus. See you guys then. Thanks again for watching, guys. And if you want to see more of my videos, don't forget to click the subscribe button.